Hi, I'm Michelle, and I'm excited to read. This is Wayne Mel Carrick, and I'm about to read a story. Hi, uh, uh, my name is Joe, and I'm happy to read this book. Today we're reading I Don't Like Birthday Parties, written by Maureen Gaspari, illustrated by Sissy Kappa. Lucas was a boy who did not like birthday parties. He couldn't really explain it, but something about birthday parties made his insides go all squishy-gushy and his brain feel squiggly-wiggly. Every party was the same. Loud, crowded, chaotic. He would watch the others having fun but never joined in. More than anything, Lucas wanted to enjoy birthday parties like everyone else. So when he received an invitation to another party, Lucas made a decision. If he wanted to like birthday parties, he would have to act like someone who liked birthday parties. I will be braver than ever before, he thought, as he drew out a plan. When he arrived at the party the next week, his belly felt like he had swallowed a billion butterflies. It was just like all the other parties. Loud, crowded, chaotic. Did you want a tattoo? A girl called out to him. He didn't, but remembering his plan, Lucas not. He picked the smallest tattoo he could find. It felt slimy and sticky on his hand. He rubbed it off when no one was looking. Lucas tried the bounce house. The wobbly wiggly floor made it hard to balance. He got bumped right and banged left. He fell down and struggled to get back up again, then quickly bounced out. Lucas even played the party games, but the other kids were too fast for him. He was being braver than ever before. But he wasn't having fun. When all the children gathered together for a photo, Lucas stood on the very end. He didn't feel happy. The bright flashes from the cameras hurt his eyes, and he didn't like everyone looking at him. Just then, some very loud music started playing, and a group of children ran past him. Lucas stopped. His head felt dizzy, and his legs felt like jelly. Everything was getting noisier and busier until, pop, a big balloon burst behind him. It was all too much. He had tried, but his plan had failed. Lucas felt like being alone, so he crawled under the closest table. Unfortunately, Kate from his class was already there. Then the singing started. Lucas sighed. I don't like that song either, whispered Kate. After the scene, Kate left for a moment, but soon returned with two pieces of delicious double chocolate cake. Cake is the only good part about parties, Lucas said with a grateful smile. I never have people sing to me on my birthday, Kate replied. Last year, I invited two friends. We made sundaes with whipped cream and sprinkles. Lucas liked the sound of that. You didn't have a big party, Lucas asked quietly. No music? 
No games? No singing? No, no, and no way. I don't like birthday parties, replied Lucas, but that sounds like fun. That night, Lucas crossed out his old plan and got to work on a new idea for his birthday. My birthday plan, music, no, games, no, singing, no, friends, two, my house, one, cake, three, check marks, yum. And on his birthday, everything went extremely as planned. Lucas realized he wasn't a boy who didn't like birthday parties. He just enjoyed them in his own special way. Thanks, Thanks for being with us. us.